Hey there, I just wanted to give a little update just to what's going on in my life. Um, my mother is going to be getting that uh, home equity loan. It's all going through. Everything's going as planned. Everything seems good there. and We can start working on the house, getting things more things done on the house. So it's a more sellable house. I mean, it's sellable now, but there's some things that would definitely uh, uh, increase the rate of how do you word that? That's not the right way to word that. Increase the rate of selling the house. What? Increase the value of the house. <laughs> oh, my wording is so bad sometimes. Um, that's why I have so many pauses because it's like, okay, what's the right way to word this? Oh, wait, wait. Oh, wait, wait. <laughs> um number of things to get done on it um and there's uh i a couple nights ago had a sleep study done to see if some of the problems i've had for a number of years which seem to have been exacerbated by my weight um was sleep apnea and yes it is hopefully in about a month somewhere around there I should have a CPAP machine and that should help CPAP CPAP smear smear pap smear okay uh, yeah I guess if you want to unsubscribe for me for that really really bad joke uh, uh, <clears throat> let's see the truck the lovely truck yeah, um, the dealer really screwed us over on that. It's a 94 Toyota pickup. I forgot, was it T100? Is that the, is that the type that it is? It's, one, it's their smaller truck. And, uh, yeah, it has a... It has a head gasket leak. It has a blown head gasket. So... It wasn't initially apparent when we were first getting it. The coolant smelled fine, but I'm betting they just, you know, flushed it and, you know, put new stuff in it so it seemed just fine. And really cleaned up the motor so everything would seem just fine. But, uh, <clears throat> yeah, now the coolant smells like uh, exhaust and a tiny, tiny hint of gas. And when you take off the oil cap, there's sludge under the cap. Um, that's something I didn't check. I kept just using, when we first were looking at it, I was like, you know, I would take out the, what do you recall it, the oil, the thing that you, you check the oil with, the oil stick. And I'd keep checking that, and yeah, that's fine. There's no buildup, no foam, no sludge, nothing like that. And there's never been any sludge in the, the on the radiator either. No foaminess either, but... On that oil cap, though, there's the sludgy stuff. Oh, great. Um, I've got a friend that can uh, hopefully work on it. We'll see. Uh, if not, maybe I might try to use this as an opportunity to learn how to work on vehicles more than changing an alternator or spark, pl spark plugs or an oil change type of thing. Do a little bit more than that. And get an engine you know go there are places you can get a garage you can you can rent a garage that has a bunch of the tools and stuff and maybe i could do something like that and learn how to do that shit myself if i we, we can't find a mechanic to do it for cheap now my mom does have the the home equity loan that uh would probably be able to take care of it with a regular professional mechanic, but uh, that's still really expensive and sometimes ridiculous on the price, but we'll see what happens. Um, the thing I'm worried about is that there could be some engine damage, and if there's engine damage, I mean, we could, I could replace the, the head gasket, but uh, it still will run like crap, so... I mean, if there's a if it's a cracked head or something like that, I mean it's screwed. So we'll have to see what happens there. Um, 
this uh, I'm still handling well. Uh, in the past, I had described it as like, well, it's been like a month and I'm back onto the, you know, back onto the regular habit. When I've said stuff in the past, it's like, well, no, it was less than a week and I was back in the regular habit uh, in the past. And uh, this time I'm st I still, I mean, I, I still have barely went through a quarter of this little 10 sack. So, um, that's good. That's good. I just need to still be vigilant in making sure I don't indulge too much or overindulge. And, uh, like, uh, no, no wake and bake. I, I, I definitely need to stay away from that sort of thing. <laughs> so, um, but other than that, things are good. Um, I've got a, uh, hopefully it doesn't have a number on it, but we'll see. I'd already talked about this, uh, well, it does have a number, but I'll, I'll cover it up. Um, here we go, I got, I got this. This is a good thing, this is a very good thing. Um, the Orca card for, uh, reduced fare. I feel very fortunate to have that. I can take a bus to Seattle for very, very cheap. You know, a round trip would cost me about, I don't know, about three bucks. 325, something like that. Don't have to worry about parking. Um, don't have to worry about the, co the cost of gas. It's just that much. You know, that's a good thing. Um, good things in general. Um, it was really cool meeting Robert yesterday. And, uh, yeah, things are pretty good, so.